Hi, welcome to The Body Lock. I'm Craig Allen, and I've got a tough question for you. What do you make of the UFC's ranking system? Because in the case of Edson Barboza, fresh off a split decision loss to Dan Ige this past weekend, and his debut of featherweight, he's not overly pleased. In a back and forth tilt that surprisingly didn't draw fight of the night or performance of the night honors for either fighter involved, two of the three judges scored the fight 29-28 for Ige, while a lone judge, Troy Winkapaw, scored at 29-28 in favor of Barboza. Not only did the decision provoke the ire of fans on social media, but on MMA decisions, media members overwhelmingly scored the contest in favor of the Brazilian to the tune of 16-2. Barboza has been lamenting the decision since fight night, but took to Twitter on Wednesday to shed light on the subject, more important to him. In his words, do you guys know who makes the UFC ranking? I'm sure it's not the specialists. They don't listen to the fans or public. I didn't care about it. But now I'm sure this ranking is just a joke. He followed up with, They took me off from the lightweight division ranking. Ige stepped up four positions, and I am not even in the ranking in the featherweight division. In a fight that the whole world knows that I won, it doesn't make any sense. With the win, Dan Ige was able to jump from 15th to 11th in the featherweight division, while Barbosa did indeed lose his standing in the lightweight division without earning a number at featherweight in the process. The official UFC rankings also shuffled with Drew Dober, Christoph Jocko, and Courtney Casey being added in their respective weight classes while Barboza, Alexander Hernandez, Anderson Silva, and Pollyanna Batelio fell out of favor. Be sure to keep it locked in with the body lock as we track the ever-changing UFC ranking system and let us know what you think of the way the promotion handles these metrics.